I've been waiting for <laughs> wait. <laughs> Did not quite work. I was trying to do like my villain entrance. Did not quite succeed. Let's pretend that didn't happen. But seriously, I've been waiting for <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Uh, I've been considering actually filming videos ever since I got here, especially since I got here, because I I don't interact with a lot of people here, so I don't have a lot of social interactions. And it was very hard for me at first to like not have a lot of human contact, I guess. So I used to film film like lengthy videos for myself. There is there are nothing I would ever post, but they were very helpful to me. And at this point, I feel like I'm at a point where I could start maybe posting actually YouTube videos. I know the quality is not going to be the best because the angle is not right, the lighting is not right. My hair looks good though, <laughs> so I guess that kind of evens out. <laughs> but seriously, um, I guess this is my announcement because it's like the awkward thing where do I just stop posting the content or do I have to actually announce that I'm going to post the content? And it's like, what do you do? You see what I mean? So here I am, I guess, announcing that I'm going to film. And since I'm already here, I would like to do like kind of a silly video uh, where I talk about things I prefer about, fr about France and things I prefer about Algeria in comparison to each other, I mean. That was very awkwardly formulated, <laughs> doesn't matter. So I would like to talk about that. It's kind of stupid to be honest, but like, eh. The first thing I actually prefer about France than Algeria, it's just this tiny, tiny thing called human rights. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, like here, like you feel like you have your rights, you can you can do whatever you want, you can be whoever you want. Nothing has changed since I got here, to be honest. Like I didn't transform into a new person or do things I would have never done in Algeria. But it's nice to see people being free. Recently, uh, during Halloween, I was outside at like midnight. I saw like this girl like walking around. She was She was like dressed as like a slutty something i don't know they're always dressed as a slutty something and honestly good for her she was like wearing a bra and like i don't know i don't remember but like it was like very very short clothes and honestly good for her my only question was like it's midnight this is minus two degrees right now i was freezing cold how are you not cold that that was my only question <laughs> but like if i'm being honest it's nice to see people just being who they are and it's beautiful to see like, no one bothered them, no one talked to them. It was just like, eh, oh well, whatever. But like, I think that's something that is very nice to see here. The second thing is transportation. Transportation here is a lot more efficient than Algeria. It's not amazing. For like 30 minutes, that's not great. But like, compared to Algeria, it's a lot better. The buses here are amazing. Like, I feel like people don't give buses enough credit. The buses here are amazing. There is this like uh, button you click, like زعما كي تقرب لاري تاعك تلبس قفله باش يعرف الشوفور بلي كاين بنادم يحبط هنايا وخلاص compared to في الجزائر it's like كاين يحبط هاد لاري and then you have to awkwardly say انا and it's super anxiety inducing and I get we don't all struggle with this but I struggle with this I am someone who's very anxious so it's like a very awkward moment and then mean like ما يسمعكش وما يحبسلكش and العباد اللي قدامك سمعوك and then they look at you like oh my god you missed your bus station that's so awkward and then you feel super awkward and you're like why am I here what is happening <laughs> so like that that button thing like just skips all that awkwardness and I highly appreciate that <laughs> another thing that's nice is that I don't want to keep hammering that but like we have water here you can shower every day not that I do <laughs> but it's nice to have the option I guess <laughs> Gross. <laughs> but like seriously, that's nice. And uh, honestly, a lot more things like uh, the places here are clean. You have things to do if you want to do things. Although you're always busy, so you never have time to do anything. But there are things. And and to be fair, like it's not like everything here is perfect and everything in Algeria is horrible. And to prove that, I even like made a list of things that I love about Algeria to show you guys that I'm that I love my country. I'll show you the list. <laughs> even made prop for this video. If anyone dares say this is lazy content because I don't edit, I made the prop. I made the whole prop. Fuck yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. Things I miss about Algeria. I guess like the first thing, and this is more of a personal thing, I miss smoking. I really miss smoking. <laughs> like here, 
like smoking is expensive it's like 10 euros a pack and i'm not gonna pay 10 euros a pack i don't have that money it's not like i don't want to i don't have it maybe if i start working again i'm sure i'll i'll find a way to get back to it and like kill myself slowly but like for now i can't even afford it and you know so i don't smoke there's also like the alternative where you can smoke like baba gule so you buy baba you buy like that's labor <laughs> like not only am i paying to kill myself and I have to make it. What the fuck? So like, I was like, I'm going to draw the line here. Like, this is too much work. I don't want to. So I quit. After three years of smoking, I quit. I was very proud of myself. But I quit. But if I'm being honest, I really miss smoking. Edge for Zayer, he did cans meal. Mean that says milk, he did hook. So I'm not sure. Like, if I'm being honest, that is the first thing I miss about Algeria. The second thing, I guess, yeah, sure, a bit less than smoking, but I also kind of miss my friends and family. Less than smoking, I, I want that to be known, that I love the nicotine more than the people. Like, I want... <laughs> but seriously, I do miss my friends and family, like, that's always sad. I, It's like, there are people you've known for years upon years upon years, and it's not, it's not like you can't miss people you didn't know for that long, but like, it's sad, like, you... There are your friends, they're your family, they're people you truly love and adore, and you barely talk to them because you don't even have time. <laughs> but like, I guess I do miss that. I miss not having anything to do. That was like a big complaint of like the Gen Z's desire, like there was nothing to do all the time, which is true, like we can well try, unless you're rich, which we're not. <laughs> not me saying that to like pay 500 euros for my apartment. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna move on. So like, you're poor, so you can't really afford anything. So it's like you can't really do anything. There are people who actually do that. Like you don't have every day, and I'm like, girl, no. Like, then if you're someone that watch that's watching this and you go sublet every day, like, okay, choices are being made here. No, seriously, like a part sublet who like. Dunya, I guess, which I wouldn't go to even if you paid me. <laughs> like, there is not much you can do for free, is it? And it's boring, honestly. Like, you're bored every day. And I get that. I used to complain about that too. Like, oh my god, there's nothing to do. And like now, I would kill to have nothing to do. I would kill to wake up at midday, smoke and be useless all day long, and then go back to sleep. I would kill for that. And if I'm being honest, I would genuinely kill for that. I miss those days. So that's another thing I miss about Algeria. Something else, if I'm being honest, like, <laughs> this is this is very, like, a very me thing. Like, when I used to post content, like, a couple of months ago, <laughs> I used to, you know, like, get death threats online. <laughs> this, is, this is how I cope. It's, it's, it's unhealthy, I know, but, like, it's okay. <laughs> like, I used to get bullied and death threats online. <laughs> and, like, I miss those. They used to humble me down. Like, right now, I think I'm the shit. I haven't been bullied in, like... A while, so it's like my ego is getting back up. Like, I need someone to be like, You should kill yourself. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I <laughs> know I'm joking. <laughs> that's like that's something else I, I miss about Algeria. But, like, in all seriousness, like, you miss the atmosphere of Algeria. Like, something that I don't particularly like about here is that people are kind of rude. It's a big city, people are in a rush. People don't give a fuck what, what's going on in your life, you see. Like, once I was kind of lost because I didn't know what to do, how to do something. Like, literally no one gave a fuck. Like, no one cared, you see. And that that was hard to experience, I guess. Because people, like, actively try to help you. Like, here it's not that at all. And it's okay, fair enough. They don't have to. But it's like, when you're used to a certain dynamic, it's hard to, like, experience that, I guess. Something else, like, I... I prefer about Algeria is honestly like how people interact with you you see like Hnaya, like even like the people you know when you interact with them it's very different like like y'all are gonna go to like a restaurant or like something and it's like an eight euro bill watch how y'all are gonna split it three ways like that's not how it works you see and here you're never I guess I'm speaking for me I don't know how people have experienced it here. I'm speaking for me. I don't feel like I'll ever have like a true connection with someone, you see? Because here it's like very volatile, you see? Like everyone is just, just wants to like 
party and do stuff and do what not, you see, and like my anxiety could never. <laughs> like I, I don't go to clubs, I don't go to bars, I don't drink. So it's like, I guess it's hard to live the dynamic of the people who are your age when you don't necessarily experience those things, you see what I mean? Not that I'm shaming people who drink, like drink, I don't care, I don't give a fuck, you see. I even go with you to a bar but not drink, you see, I don't care. But it's like when people are going through those experiences and you're not, it's like hard to like, I guess, vibe. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but it's like when you're not on the same page and you're not in the same, like, I guess, stage of life, you see, like you're here, they're here, I'm here, you see, I'm above them. See, believe me, please. <laughs> no, seriously. So it's like when you're on different levels of life, it's hard to, I guess, connect to people. And that's kind of rough. And uh, I've been trying to manage things. Today, like lately, I've been feeling a lot better than I have in a long time. And I am so grateful for that. I, It's been rough. It's been rough. <laughs> but it's getting better. I even, I even when you see me shave and get a haircut, you know I'm doing better. You, see? you know that means like I am doing better. <laughs> Like, that is always, like, a tell. If you want to know, like, where's the one at? If my hair is puffy and I low-key look like I have an afro, he's depressed. <laughs> That's not always true. Sometimes I just get lazy, but, like, that is a tell, usually. But, like, I don't want to be people to be like, oh, my God, are you sad? Are you sad? Well, I'm just, like, not wanting to shave. <laughs> so, like, yeah. <laughs> like, don't take it that hard. But, honestly, I'm just... I'm just excited to like film every now and then. I don't know how often I'm gonna do it. I I have like some topics in mind, some actual topics I would like to discuss, some very interesting topics about Algeria, the country itself, the social life there. Because now that I'm here, I feel like I can be more open. Not too open either. I don't want them to ban me. <laughs> but like more open, I would say, to talk about things I wish to discuss. So that would be interesting to talk about these things. And like to the 10 of you that watch this all the way, <laughs> like, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll make sure to be back next time with a more scripted video because this was very like, uh, let's ramble for 12 minutes. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, but seriously, thank you for watching. Uh, if you actually did watch, like, thank you. <laughs> Anyways, have a good day. Have a good week. Have a subscribe, follow and like. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> this is...